Hey what's going on guys and in today's video we have another update on the K5 Blazer here. So uh, the bumper here I put the uh, the bolts on it in the uh, places that they're supposed to go but I have not made the mount for it as I did with the rear bumper. Uh, so I need to do that at some point not really sure where I'm going to attach it on the frame though because it's supposed to attach right about in this area but as you can see there is a suspension mount uh, right there and these are custom mounts so they're not exactly in the place that they should be um, I did the door panels here very recently I think that they came out really good uh, definitely some of my best work as far as replicating parts. I think they look really good, especially just this black piece right here just looks awesome. Uh, so I did that and I did the uh, the dash vents right here are not complete but I've got the uh, the insert right here for the vents so now I just have to uh, Put the vents in here. I got an idea of how I'm gonna do that. It's fairly easy, but I just haven't done that yet. Um, I also uh, put the logo in the middle of the steering wheel where it's supposed to be, but it's a uh, it's a texture logo and not a 3D logo. So I'll show you in a uh, in a second how that looks. <clears throat> Um, I went ahead and made the body all one piece and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, basically draw on the door gaps for the body uh, whenever I AO bake it in Blender because Blender's AO baking is a lot better. Um, also the mirror was forward like it was closer to the end of the door right here and uh, it's not supposed to be there so I moved it back to where it's supposed to be and I also smoothened it a little bit it wasn't as smooth as it is now um, I also scratch made my own uh, door handles and door buttons and whatnot for the truck and I put them in the correct position if you didn't know I already have a square body uh, GMC Sierra and so that's how I know exactly where they're supposed to be also I can just look up online random pictures and I'll probably find those uh, where it's supposed to be as well uh, I also redid the uh, f I think it's called fender trim I'm not sure but uh, I read I redid this and uh, before it was just a strip and it didn't have, uh, if I can get a good camera angle at it, like this this strip right here, that's what it had before. So it didn't have the uh, the edges right here that go alongside it. It didn't have the edges. So I redid those so that they're more 3D looking. Um, and other than that, like... These door panels took a really long time to make, nearly a whole day to make them, and uh, so, and then the rest of it I've just been putting it on as I go, but uh, yeah, anyways. Um, so here is the trucking game, and I know the green is ugly and I'm getting rid of it, but I just wanted to test out how that looked. Um, <laughs> because I was tired of the gray I was a little tired of it so I got rid of it I didn't get rid of it completely I can put it back on anytime I want but anyways that's how the interior looks and there's the uh, texture for the uh, steering wheel badge that I was talking about get a closer look at it there you go 
uh, I also added my logo on the front well not logo but <laughs> my name on the front windshield and with the add-on the uh, top add-on I added on my logo uh, force 19 mods which is a group I'm a part of with uh, smart one nine forces and uh, myself K5 Blazer Man, Traxxas Master, which is a map creator. Um, I also added Forces logo because he's helped me out a lot on this build. And I'll probably put some other logos here. Not sure which ones yet, but maybe, I don't know, like Rough Country um, or Skylift, something like that. But uh, yeah, just mainly a interior overhaul is what I've been doing on the K5. Um, also the shifter. I don't think I showed you guys that yet. The shifter right there. I did that one. I need to do the uh, the blinker switch on the other side. But yeah, just basically an interior overhaul that I'm not done with yet. And uh, some other things here and there. Uh, oh, also brake lines, which I haven't textured yet, so they're not showing up in game there. But uh, there they are, right there. No brake lines. And I'm not doing brake lines for the rear just because um, I'm pretty sure a vehicle like this would not have disc brakes in the rear and therefore wouldn't have metal. Uh, brake lines in the rear so it would be more like a brake uh, an e-brake cord or something like that in the rear so that's why I didn't do that but uh yeah the uh, the modeling on this truck is coming to uh, an end we're definitely on the tail end I can tell you that much um, Main things on my list right now are finishing up a few touches on the interior, such as the mirror, the rear view mirror on the top here, the uh, maybe the e-brake handle and the blinker switch, um, the front bumper brackets. I'm not going to focus too much on the engine bay because you can like barely see it. I mean, that's all that you can see right there, and that that's not much. Like, I might add a fan, and that's it. <laughs> um, the modeling side is pretty much coming to an end, and uh, then I'll be doing the uh, texturing for the K5. Um, and what I mean by that is, like, the AO baking, like, making it to where it looks like it has shadows where like the mirrors are and the um, the door handles are it'll make the uh, body lines look better uh, put some shadows in for the bumpers uh, shadows in for the uh, trim right here and that uh, latch right there you know, just put some shadows on the vehicle, and uh, that will look good. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, hope that you enjoyed this little update. Uh, and we're definitely on the tail end of the K5 build. So that is coming to a close, and I'll be doing my next truck after this one. Uh, this truck probably won't be done uh, until like maybe a week or two after Mud Runner. Like that's that's the guesstimate. But uh, this truck was supposed to be done like a month or two ago, so definitely taking me longer than I thought because I've added more and more detail, and uh, my modeling skills aren't like amazing. So it takes me longer to make parts than uh, someone like Forces or CCS. 
um, and spun. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.